fictional character. I don't feel safe anymore on TikTok. Like, y'all stepped over the fucking line and I'm done. I'm done. I am a mother. I don't have a team of fucking security guards to protect me from you fucking assholes. No more commenting. I don't feel safe anymore on TikTok. Like, y'all stepped over the fucking line and I'm done. I'm done. I am a mother. I don't have a team of fucking security guards to protect me from you fucking assholes. No more commenting. I don't even know if I'm going to post anymore. Literally, with a life. And if I don't share pieces of my life with you, it's not your job. It's not your job to find personal fucking information of mine and put it out on the fucking internet. Like, oh, I don't know where I fucking live. It's not your job. It's not your job to find personal fucking information of mine and put it out on the fucking internet. Like, oh, I don't know where I fucking live. If I say broadcasting it, you're purposely putting it out there and you know what you're putting out, putting out there and you know what you're doing. And you're doing it for likes. And she can say she's just trying to live her life, which is true. She's trying to have fun, she's trying to live her life, but she's also trying to get likes because let's face it, she is a popular TikTok creator and she's trying to get the likes. That's why, but the thing is that she shouldn't be out here leading, like, creating this scenario, <clears throat> knowing her fans and the people, the majority of people on TikTok are in their teens and they're very naive and it's just, I don't understand what she expected to happen. I mean, the personal information thing, that's fucked up. But as far as, like, shipping and all that stuff, you did that yourself. You put that out there. You, I don't understand what you thought was going to happen, girl. Sorry. Hey, everybody. Uh, I took time out to block every single virgin ever on TikTok. So if you're seeing this, what's up, you fucking whore? Just doxed a person that you're a fan of. You just put them in danger. You're not a real fan. Whoever did that, you're awful. This person has a kid and they don't owe you guys anything just because you ship them with someone. There's nothing wrong with like shipping people, but you need to keep in mind that this person is real. This person has a real life. They don't have to be in a relationship with anybody just because you ship it. You fucking cross the line like you pushed it because y'all forget influencers are people. They're not celebrity and even celebrities are freaking people. You know, they deserve to be treated with stuff. They're not fictional characters. And now this person doesn't want to even be on TikTok anymore because they feel unsafe. They have disabled all their comments and everything. Which I don't blame them. I would feel the same exact way. I and I would probably feel hurt. Be First of all, I'd like to say you guys are fucking weird and gross. And um, if you were in public and you overheard someone talking about how they had a crush on someone and they were going to meet them for the first time and all this other shit and then, you know, they come back in because they're talking to a friend or whatever and you hear them say, oh, it didn't work out. I don't think I'm going to date them. Are you going to walk up to them and be like, no, I heard about this. I, I want you guys together. I think it's wrong that you're not together. And I think you owe me an explanation as to why you're not together and what's going on and who you're with now. Like, would you do that? Because, like, if so, you're fucking crazy. Like, these are real people. They're not characters in a book that you could just, like, write fan fiction about and pretend it's real. Like, the fuck? This message is for Hawk Hates You, so if you're not Hawk Hates You, then keep scrolling. I'll wait. Okay, are they all gone? Alright, um, I love you. I think you're the most beautiful girl on TikTok, and you're so wholesome and amazing, and your daughter is amazing, and I support you in every way possible, and I just think you're beautiful, okay? So, keep on! Like, the person who leaked Angela's address is fucking lucky that she might, that she's not gonna, she might, actually, wait a minute, she might pursue legal action because you know what? She's in her fucking right. 
I don't think you children on this app realize the consequences of your fucking actions, okay? Y'all are children, but you are not above the law. Your parents could get in trouble and you could get in trouble. Juvie exists. Fines exist. Your parents could pay fines for shit that you do. You need to fucking understand your actions and what the fuck happens when you don't act right. Like, y'all are a bunch of fucking children, and I don't mean that as an insult. I mean, y'all are literally fucking children. I know how many under the age of 13 follow me, and you know what? It's not my job to police that, but you shouldn't fucking be here. At all. Especially, this is the fucking reason why. Like, this is fucking bullshit, and she deserved better. Like crisscross apples, also baby caress me. I've been doing.